Hello everybody, back again Saul here for another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Aw, uh, yeah. And last time we left the Forest Haven, came here and we got treasure chest, and we found out that the Korok's trees aren't growing as they should be. But that's a quest for later on. Uh, today, we need to head south. Um, all right. Let's go. That is annoying. <laughs> all right, so we we're headed to a place called Five Star Isles. I think that's it right there, maybe. I mean, Okay, we're in the quadrant now, so yeah, it's got to be that. Okay, first what we need to do is we're going to open up a treasure chart. Hello. We need treasure chart 33. There we go. That'll open up. And we need to find fish shaman. Where's fish shaman? Alright, well first of all... There's a big glowing thing of light there. That's from the treasure chart we just opened up. So we need to stop. Right here. And salvage. We're gonna pull up a treasure chest. And what are we gonna find in there? Hey! Piece of heart. Fourth piece. We got an extra heart. Nice. Get away from me. Alright. Let's talk to Fish Shaman. Get him to draw on our chart. Hoi, small friend. Hoi, small friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw on my chart, please. Thank you. Have you seen a small fry? The ghost ship. <laughs> why, why does he sound like he's like southern now? Because it's real. I've even been I've even been seen here. It's even been seen here in these very waters. I can't talk. On nights when the crescent moon faces down, that's when horror rises. And that's all the info I got to offer. Blah blah blah. I have hiccups, sorry. Oh no, why do I have the hiccups? Alright. So Right now, we need to turn around. We need to head all the way southeast as far as we can go. Is this southeast? This is southeast. Okay. Because there's something way out here we need to do. There's a, a submarine here. And there should be some book goblins out here. Yep. So let's equip our our grappling hook. Let's get out of here. Yank. Go. <laughs> let's go grab all these guys' joy pendants. I don't even think we need all that many more. We'll have all we need soon enough. All right. Let's go. Here we go. Well, let's kill this one because he's got a treasure chest on here. What's in here? Some rupees? Yep. 20 rupees. Hey. Is this the only one with a treasure chest on it? I think so. Thank you. Alright, let's go over to the submarine. Let's check how many, uh, man, why is it so stormy? Anyway, how many joy pendants do we have? We have 20. Nice. Alright, anyway, let's go inside the submarine. There's gonna be some keys up there, and some bow goblins down here. 
You know what? I just made a connection be between uh, Bokoblins, it starts with Boko, and then Boko Babas. Oh, interesting. Oh, there's a thing here. And those are the t only two enemies in this game, I think, that start with Boko. Bokoblins and. Uh, what was I gonna say? And Boko Babas. Didn't hit him enough times. There we go. Keys, please. Get wrecked. Man, these keys are annoying. Alright. So kill all the bug goblins. Go away. Alright. Now we get to climb up here. And a treasure chest appears out of thin air. Oh no. Bump my mic, sorry. Alright. So what do we see in here? Ba -ba 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 -da. Piece of heart. Hey. Alright, so another piece of heart. That's two pieces of heart in this one episode. <laughs> I think we could get one more pretty soon. Okay. Oh, hey. King Red Lions, you're here. Okay. Things are spooky. Let's go ahead and... Oops. There we go. Let's change things over to uh, daytime. And then let's go ahead and change the wind. Now we head west. So the smaller ones I think are just like rupees or whatever. I don't think those are necessary for 100%. But, uh, by that I'm talking about the little glowing things in the water for treasures. Just the bigger ones from the uh, treasure charts that we get are the necessary ones. Um, let me switch over to map. So that I can look over on the gamepad and keep track of where we are. Okay. Okay, we're coming up here. There's some sea hats, similar to pea hats, but they're bigger. But you can also take them out pretty quickly with your uh, boomerang. Okay. So here, we have the boating course. And I think here, we need to open up another treasure chest, maybe? Hmm, maybe not. How do I get up here? Hello? Oh, there's an incline there. There we go. Is there anything good in here? Give me some magic at least. Man, nothing. Please. Alright. Nothing. Alright. Well, who are you, guy? Hello. Hey, that's a pretty slick boat you got there, kiddo. So what do you say, kiddo? You want to play a boat game for 30 rupees? What do you say? Uh, no thanks. Not right now. You got yourself a boat made because you're... What? What's the deal? You got yourself a boat because you're hoping to make it in the world, right? You want to get rich, right? Well, playing my game will make you money faster than sailing around looking for treasure. Oh, well, you're lost, kiddo. Uh, alright. I think we need to use our Deku Leaf to get across here. Oh, I guess the wind's already blowing the way I need it to go. Cool, thanks. Alright. Maybe we need to get some higher ground. Man, the camera's really zoomed out. There we go. I 
Oh, there should be a hole there. Yep. Hey! Hello, mini blends. This is an enemy I don't think we've encountered so far in the Let's Play. It's a mini blend. Hey. Please. Go away. They're the most annoying thing. Mini blends, please. Okay, I hit two of the switches. I was trying to I was gonna try to hit all three at the same time, but Mini Blitz said no. Come on. Go away. There we go. I think the mini blends in this cave are just endless. They just keep coming until you hit the switches. Oh, I guess even if you hit the switches, they keep coming. Which is bad. Oh yeah, got submarine chart. Open chart, view map screen, blah blah blah. Okay. So let's take a look at the uh, submarine chart. And what this does is it shows us where all the different submarines are on the overworld. How cool is that? It's all written in Hylian though, so can't read it. But it's got pictures. I think the Hylian writing under the submarines will say like what treasures are in them? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, let's get out of here. These stupid mini ones. Okay. King of Red Lions, catch me. Oh, you didn't catch me. Alright. Where's Fish Shaman? Fish Shaman way over there. Did I just see him jump way over there? No. Oh, right behind me. Ha. Ah. Let's equip some bait. There we go. Thank you. I L target fishman. Because, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it makes it work better. I'm not sure. Okay. Hey, small fry. Anyway, let's get him to draw. Tell us some good info, hopefully. Hey. Let me ask you something, Fry. Have you been using ZR to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course, going out to sea just to jump around would be real dumb if you ask me. Anyway, what you can do is tilt L, left stick, to make your tail just as you land. That's how you make a sharp turn. If you didn't know that, why don't you try it out? That's all the info I got to offer, blah, blah, blah. Alright. <laughs> One last thing for this episode. We're gonna head west again. Just travel all the way west. How how fitting that fishman would... Uh... Oh, I got a tingle bottle. That fishman would uh, give us boating tips at the boating course. How fitting. All right. So, where's the next area I need to go to? Is it that? Maybe. Yeah, I think it's right here. Jorg, please. Where's Fishman? Please. Okay, let's make it daytime so these Georgs go away. Okay. Before we look for Fishman, we need to open up treasure chart 15. Go. And where's Fishman? Georg, please. Go away. Why aren't they going away? Alright. Let's equip more bait, because I used the last one on the other fish man. Alright. 
Give me a thing. Curse, my friend. <laughs> Such a silly voice. I don't, I don't even know. Okay. Ow. Sorry, I hit my mic again. Our system here the Forest Haven. It's like a truly unique kind of firefly that's indigenous to that place. You heard if it's not, Fran? <laughs> it emits burst of light seven colors. Supposedly it's beautiful as a rainbow. If you want to capture one, though, you best have a bottle to keep in it. All the info I got to offer, blah, 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 blah. Alright. So, by opening up treasure chart 15, because if we zoom in here, okay, it should be like right here. Unless we're already too close to. Yeah. Not that. This. Salvage. There we go. We were too close when we opened the chest, so we didn't see the ray of light. That's what happened. And what do we find in here? Another piece of heart. Man, we got three pieces of heart in this one episode. <laughs> Alright. But anyway, I think we'll call it there for today. Let's go ahead and get on some solid ground here. Can I hop up, please? Thank you. Alright. So, that's gonna do it for us. I don't think I'm gonna call it yet. But, let's go ahead and climb up this, uh, this, uh, island. That's what I was gonna say. It's got those same blocks we saw in, uh, Dragon Roost Island. So. Push this over here. Then we can pull it over here. Hey. Now we're up here. Now we can climb up all the way to the top. Oh god. Give me a blue chew jelly. Give me this. Thank you. There we go. What'd you give me? Ten rupees, not bad. Alright. We're gonna open up this chest, and then we'll call it. But, uh... Got a piece of heart. So how many is that? Got four pieces of heart in this episode. Piece of heart. Mania. Piece of heart. Whatever. Um... <laughs> piece of heart mania? Yeah, I guess that's a good... Good phrase. Anyway. Now we'll call it. So, that's going to do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.